Hi everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another edition of Movie Talk. Because it's October and Halloween is just around the corner, I thought it'd be fun for the next four Movie Talk videos to be on creature features or movies that follow that line. So, this week's Movie Talk movie is Van Helsing. Legendary monster hunter Van Helsing is summoned to mysterious Transylvania on a mission that will thrust him into a sweeping battle against the forces of darkness. With non-stop action and electrifying special effects, Van Helsing is an adrenaline pounder motion picture event Robert Everstein calls spectacular. Okay, highlights of the movie. movie. This movie was made back in 2004 and is a dark fantasy action adventure film. And it tells the story of monster hunter Gabriel Van Helsing, who was inspired by the character Abraham Van Helsing from Bram Stoker's novel Dracula. This movie was produced by Universal Studios and pays homage to homage and tribute to the Universal horror monster films from the 1930s and 40s and features such classic horror creatures as Dracula, Frankenstein's creature, werewolves, Mr. and Mr. Hyde. And it has wonderful CG animation. And I just now noticed that CG animation kind of got under classic horror film creatures. I apologize for that typo. Okay, things I loved about this movie. First off, I loved the story. This was an amazing story. Um, it just gets you in the mood for Halloween. Now, is this among my Halloween movies? No, it is not. It is among my everyday movies. But I do tend to watch it more around this time of year due to the fact that it does have paranormal creatures in it. And you'll notice I tend to use the word paranormal creatures or just plain creatures when describing these characters that are not human as opposed to monsters as I do not like to use that term. Secondly, I love the design on the vampires, Mr. Hyde, Frankenstein's creature, and the werewolves, especially Van Helsing's werewolf form. I thought they were very cool and very unique. And yes, these are all CG animated things. They are not people in costume. Thirdly, I loved how the movie started out in black and white before transferring to color. This is some. This was a very unique touch that they did not have to do, but they did anyways. And in my opinion, it is a wonderful way to, aside from the creatures and the plot line, pay homage to the 1930s and 40s um, horror films. Also, on a side note, I would just like to say that this and next week's video talk um, video will be the closest we ever get to horror films, as I am not a big fan of horror movies. Thirdly, I love the interaction between the characters. Even the vampires who were the villains of the movie, I just absolutely love the interaction between them and the other characters. Two of my favorite lines, and one I did not list here because I just now remembered, just now thought of it, um, were, um, one was an exchange between Van Helsing and Frankenstein's creature when Van Helsing was trying to free him. Um, Basically, it goes along the lines of, um, I can't unscrew the, he was trying to get, um, Van Helsing was trying to get the creature out of this thing that was holding him down to start the thing that would bring Dracula's children to life. I know that it's a slight spoiler, but I'm sorry. Um, and Van Helsing basically says, I can't unscrew the bolts, this is gonna hurt. Frankenstein's creature in turn says, I am accustomed to pain, and then Van Helsing replies, it lets, lets you know you're alive. It was humor that was injected into a very intense situation, which I felt was a very nice touch. The other line I liked that I did not put on here, and I apologize for that, was just after they escaped from Dracula's palace, um, 
near the end of the movie, they haven't gotten to this point yet, but they it was near the end of the movie and they had just defeated like a whole horde of Dracula servants. And Van Helsing basically says to Carl, Carl, you're a genius, and Carl replies, a genius with access to unstable chemicals. And I just thought that was just so hilariously funny. I also loved the scene where Van Helsing is being cured of being a werewolf. Um, I just absolutely love it. The um, werewolf holding his love against his chest, or his dead love against his chest, and howling to the moon as everything falls away. It's just amazing. It's, a, it's an amazing shot. It's a very romantic shot, in my opinion. Like a dark romantic shot, in my opinion, but a dark romantic shot in a good way. And I also think that just before everything falls away, that would have made a very cool poster. Next, I love the action. This movie had incredible action. It was just so amazing. I don't want to get into too much detail about it, but take my word for it. It's just the most amazing thing in the world. The action really did make this movie. Another thing that really made this movie, the CG animation. Many of the paranormal creatures were CG animated. Now, granted, yes, the werewolves and the vampires, when they were in their human form, were portrayed by human actors, but their more paranormal form um, was actually CG animated. It was not costume. Um, Mr. Hyde, at the beginning of the movie, was CG animated. Um, and I don't know if Frankenstein's creature was CG animated or not. Um, if he wasn't CG animated, he had very good makeup on and a very good costume done. And it wasn't just the characters. There were a lot of scenes that were CG animated as well, which was done so well, you couldn't even tell it was CG animated. I didn't know until I went to the behind the scenes look and I was like, holy cow, I did not know that scene was CG animated. Okay, actors. This movie had an amazing cast of actors, all of which did a phenomenal job portraying this um, story, and here is the list of characters and their, their corresponding actors. Okay, question of the week. This movie featured a lot of paranormal creatures, from Dracula to Mr. Hyde. And my question for you guys is, which of the paranormal creatures featured in this movie was your favorite? Please leave your answers in the comment section. Um, and as a side note, please note that if you liked Doc, Mr. Hyde, I will accept him as an answer to this question. You don't have to just say Dracula or one of the brides um, or the werewolves or Frankenstein's creature. Um, I will also accept Igor as an answer. Um, Dracula's helpers and Dracula's children as answers as well. So you're not simply stuck with Dracula, his brides, the werewolves, or Frankenstein's creature. Um, any of the paranormal creatures in here, including Igor and Mr. Hyde, are acceptable answers. Um, also, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. 
and feel free to like and share this like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or like and share if you're watching on Facebook and feel free to follow me on Instagram, Divian Art, Tumblr, and Twitter. I have my name for those four sites right there on the screen as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note all pictures seen within this video belong to their respective artists. I own absolutely nothing. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rules. Okay, feel free to check out my other movie talk videos. My movie talk special edition videos. And my other videos. Um, a couple of things I want to touch on before I sign off. First off, please note that my TV Talk videos will now exclusively be to my Facebook page. As um, YouTube considers these spam, if you would like to check out any of those videos, um, you can feel free to follow, um, check them out on my Facebook page. The link will be in the description section. As always, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.